Today's parenting team is created with our sponsor, Johnson's, discovering wonders with parents and babies. We're back. It's 846. Today's parenting team, as I am really just about to find out, raising siblings, I'm told, can be a challenge. So what can parents expect when baby number two arrives? Today's Jenna Bush Hager, mom of two, sat down for a heart-to-heart -heart with Britt Morin. She's a Today parenting team member, a Johnson spokesperson, and mom to two-year-old Ansel and six-month-old Austin. When you found out you were pregnant with Austin, what were the thoughts that went through your mind? I was so excited because I always wanted many kids and uh, then the fear shook in about how would Ansel handle this. And how has he handled it? First of all, there's the sharing issue. Ansel does not like it when he takes his toys. <laughs> no! I actually bought Ansel a little baby doll of his own a few months before I was due. And ultimately, when I brought our new baby home, Austin, it wasn't so weird for Ansel because he had a baby to play with and Austin was my baby to play with. We actually had Mila pick Poppy out of the nursery. We're glad <laughs> she picked the right baby. How would the routines change with number two? Very chaotic. One of my hacks was to put the baby bathtub into the toddler, like regular bathtub, and then just figure out how to do them both at once. <laughs> Moms have like eight arms. You can do a million things at once, except for when you are breastfeeding. <laughs> and then you're literally locked down. So I've learned that it's critical to have close family nearby, to have a supportive spouse, um, to bait your girlfriends to come over, maybe bring, <laughs> bring them some cookies. What do you think is the best part of having two? I think it is just the unconditional love that we have for both of them, but also that they now have for one another. It's so cool to see the way that their eyes light up when they see one another. My baby? What's his name? Austin. Austin! High five! High five! Yeah! yeah. Well, Betsy Brown Braun is a child development and behavior specialist, the author of Just Tell Me What to Say. Betsy, good morning. Good morning. This is going to be a two-minute therapy session for you and me. <laughs> no. You know, a lot of people give advice when you're when there's a new baby coming and how to handle it with the siblings. I mean, what's what's your your catch-all theory of the case? How much should you kind of try to prepare the child, and how much is it just kind of playing by ear? Well. First of all, you shouldn't overthink it, mm -hmm. but I do think that there are things you can do to prepare that sibling, depending upon that baby's age. Yeah. A two-year-old, a three-year-old doesn't really have an idea of what's coming. You know, he thinks that baby's going to be born and go tricycle riding. Right. So if you can, you know, expose that baby, that sibling to another baby, visit another infant's house, see what a baby is like, talk a little bit about how babies poop and pee and cry and sleep and it's still going to be a baby that will certainly be useful. Now some people think the new baby should bring a gift for older baby. Are you into that idea? Yeah, I'm not into that because part of this reality is going to be learning to tolerate disappointment and frustration, frustration and delay gratification. I do think it's not necessary, but that when that new baby gets gifts, certainly give it to the sibling and say, mm -hmm. this baby can't open it. Will you open it for him? If you have a toddler, they like to be helpers. They like to have a role. Do you encourage for that? Sure. For sure. And I do encourage buying a doll and having the, the toddler bathe her baby while you're, ba while you're bathing the other baby. I, I think also looking back at pictures of your toddler when she was a baby so mm -hmm. she can see that she was once getting that amount of attention from you is another good idea. Well, this is all going to be reality for me in a matter of days, Betsy. So I really appreciate your advice, and I know you've got a lot more. So thank you so much for being here. By the way, our next parenting challenge, we want to know what you do to reduce stress and increase joy during the holidays. So let us know what you do. Hello, Today fans. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking that button down there and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives.